on the outside. I always wait for that. So I'm going to try a shot from here. And he actually scores. Wow. Okay. Okay there. All right, boys. Back to the YouTube mode. A video was made. You guys got that video now. We're going to continue on with the YouTube content. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at Joshua Kimmich here with 5'9 height, high, high work rates, 3-star skill moves with a 4-star weak foot. So right off the bat, this guy looks like he's going to make a really, really fun you know, CDM. You can, use him in, you can use him in a lot of positions, actually, because if you give this card a shadow, which we already did, a plus 14 for acceleration and plus 10 for sprint speed, you can use him in the right back position, the right mid position, because he actually has like a decent attacking presence. Uh, the high, high work rates with the 98 stamina. It's a nice card. It's a nice card that you could be able to put him in different uh, positions on the pitch, right? A rotational player, as you will. Like you guys know when I did the Marcelo video, I was kind of explaining that like rotational players are the best so that no matter the situation of the game, if you need to switch to a 3-4-1-2, 4-2-3-1, like it's not ideal to just keep one formation as you play FIFA. It's ideal to switch depending on the situation of the game. Do you need to exploit the middle more? Do you need to exploit the sides more? Do you need more attacking presence? All that kind of stuff. So the thing about this card is brilliant is that Having him in the midfield in general for the left or right center defenseman position, left or right center mid position, you're looking at a really good card, right? Especially because he has that four-star weak foot. I thought he was going to be three-star, three-star, but he's four, he has a four-star weak foot, so that's really important. Um, but shooting presence is, a, is decent. You know, if you're going to be using him as a CDM, I do recommend him, obviously, on the right side, being he is a right-footed player. Uh, he has passing stats, so you don't need to improve that. Dribbling is already there as well. But we're not even just talking about dribbling, because dribbling uh, like that in the striker position, it could be, like, okay because of the gameplay situation in FIFA. But... As a CDM, that's brilliant, right? Even as a center mid, that's really good too, especially with that four-star weak foot. And then you have defending stats that are improved with the shadow chemistry style. Like I said, I do want to use them as a CDM, so the shadow chemistry style makes the most sense for me. In a general situation, you could potentially give them an anchor chemistry style uh, because... You know, you may want to increase the physical. I wouldn't really care too much about doing that because I think the whole thing about this card is going to be really aggressive attacking play and really aggressive defensive play, right? Because having good defensive stats as well as the high, high work rates and 98 stamina, I expect this card to pretty much be all over the pitch, right? So, uh, yeah, I, I, I hope that it's very similar to Acuna's card because Acuna's card, the, the new one, the Shapeshifters card, I really like. So hopefully this card is significantly better because it should be by the stats, right? So uh, yeah, let's go try him out. The way they're going to be lined up in-game is going to look like this. So our typical 4-2-3-1 instructions with 5-5. Five and five. People always, I think this is the def. It's not the default. That's interesting. So on my main account, people think that the 1-1 one and 1-1 one and one and one for attack and defense is my formation. But I never use balance like ever. It's just there for the formation just to start off the team, right? I always use attacking, ultra-attacking, ultra-defensive. And, so, and defensive, right? So, uh, but in this guy's team, we have this the tactic set up on defensive. So, let's see what we got here. So, I know that he has his own tactics. We're just going to go ahead and change that. He doesn't mind that I do these kind of things. Uh, we're going to have Kimmich to play on balance because you want to test out his capabilities on the attack and on the defense, like I said. And then we're going to have comeback defense for all three cams and then have the striker to be central. Timo Warner is freaking sick in this game, by the way. So, I, 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 like I said, I love using this dude's team. I always say this because it's really, really fun to use. Palacios is there on the left side because of that four-star weak foot as well. So, definitely going to be a helpful situation there, too. Konate actually got upgraded the other day by accident, and his potential upgrades are really nice. I think this actually might still be upgraded. I have no idea, but hey, the card's still amazing. I regret not doing this card, by the way, because he's actually really good. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to a game, see how he plays. I can't wait until I get the blue light protection for my glasses, because if I ever, if I ever get my hands on those, it's going to be so helpful for creating content, because my eyes get destroyed. The yellow glasses don't have prescription on them, so I need to, uh, need to get those glasses ASAP. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do here, by the way, is his dribbling is freaking awesome. Um, I don't remember the exact setting for this, but I do recommend everybody to do this, please, for the love of God. Uh, I, I know that I try to tell as many people as possible that this is how you should do it. Player name and indicator is how you should play this game because having the player name on top of your head is very, very beneficial because you also have it in the bottom left and bottom right corner. So very important to have that to know exactly who you're using at the very moment, right? All right, so let's try out his dribbling. 
Yeah, so you could see right away that his his dribbling for a CDM is going to be super helpful. Nice positioning on the bounce instruction right there with Kimmich. I like that. He gets involved really nicely. Again, that the, the general good passing stats that he has are going to be very helpful. We almost got that header right there. Um... But yeah, the general good stats that he has, the four-star weak foot especially, it's definitely going to be very helpful for certain situations. Ball roll touch, get that pass angle, one more. Get that shot across goal, nice. Mateos Cunha is really good. I don't know if you guys ever watched the review that I did for him on the winter refresh, but uh, yeah, I was recommending people like, yo, give him an engine chemistry style in the central cam position. This guy's going to do work for you. And in this guy's team, having Timo Werner up top with Mateos, uh, Mateos as, the, uh, as the cam is really nice. His transition there was really nice. I actually like that a lot. He's very fast, you know? Like, if I run after this guy right now, you can see that he kinda, he's kind of like all over him already, right? So, very important attribute to have on CDMs. Really well positioned as well. Uh, it's actually very interesting because both him and Palacios, I believe, are high, high work rates. And they're playing off of each other really nicely right now. Uh, maybe because of the bounce between both work rates, but... Uh, it's definitely been noticeable so far. Again, Mateos on that left foot, a beast of a card. Gets into the position, scores the opportunity. His acceleration from the start is 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 top notch. You can see, you can definitely tell that it's 99 right off the bat, and he's probably gonna score a nice little kickoff right here. We he doesn't, and we get the ball there. Oh. All right, so let's make Kimmich join the attack here. We're gonna force him to make that run, just to offer another attacking presence right here. That's the space that we're going to work with right there. Take that touch. Ball roll. Touch upwards. I should have done a ball roll because it doesn't... The, the animation of the goalie falling to the floor, it doesn't register unless you do the ball roll touch. I try to push it, but like it's, I'm just applying too much logic, you know, <laughs> to the uh, mechanics of the game. So I have to go ahead and, uh, and do that ball roll touch for sure. That's the expression we like to use here. Ball roll touch. Again, good positioning with him on the balance instruction. He definitely utilizes empty space really nicely. Gets into the position there. We could make that pass. We wait for that transitioning run. I love that transitioning run that the players make. On the end, outside, I always wait for that. We're going to try a shot from here. And he actually scores. Wow. Okay. Okay there. Yeah, so I'm really liking the card so far. So it's definitely going to be... Oh, I have to mute the Elgato there for a second. It's definitely going to be very interesting to try him out one more time. Because honestly, him and Palacios together with the high, high workers, they're actually moving really nicely. Oh my god, his dribbling is super responsive. Let's go. Great block there with Kimmich. Nicely done. We're going to force a run with him here just because we want to ask for that extra attacking presence right there. There we go. Do a fake shot, see what we're looking at here. All right, so now we wait for the transition into the middle. There we go. Wait for that open space. Acuna with the shot. Nice. Very well done. You want to get that angle, right? You want to you want to just get that near post angle. Nice little power strike. But uh, yeah, that's the whole thing with having nice players with stamina with... Um, with high, high work rates is that you can actually force them to make the run forward by, you know, forcing the one-two pass, making them make that run, or you just press L1 constantly uh, with the left stick direction and then, you know, force them to make that run to open up more space for yourself in the attack. And that's the thing too, right? Like, because of the high, high work rates, they'll transition back on the defense really quickly. Like, not as quickly all the time, because you are risking it a little bit, but just generally speaking, they will. I and mean, Palacios have a nice little rotation policy as well right now. And it's great because they both have a four-star weak foot. So we'll definitely notice some cool things with the cards as well in regards to that, right? So I'm loving the card, man. It's good. I, I, I recommend it. I'm going to go see what the price is and then we'll basically take it from there because I think this guy is probably going to leave now. Yeah. All right, guys. So final verdict on the card for 192k, you know, I, I may have a problem with their gameplay team in regards to their gameplay, but for their content team... Honestly, like you guys, some of you guys are not going to agree with this, but Kimmich's really good for 192k, guys. Like, if these cards were cards that you would get on the market, I'm telling you that they would cost way more money. Palacios, I think, was actually around this price as well, if I'm not mistaken. This card right here, when I first reviewed him, he was around that price. See, 192k, and 
you know, they're both very similar cards. Like, yes, the card's untradeable, but it's also Joshua Kimmich. We're talking about a, a fantastic young prospect as well, right? He's a very, very good card in this game. Um, yeah, man, I, there's not really much else to say about the card. He's obviously really good, 25 years old, and he plays like an absolute monster in real life. Um, with the Shadow Chemistry style, guys... In the CDM position next to Kim, uh, next to Palacios, next to him, with both of them being four-star weak foot, with both of them always transitioning between each other, uh, he's great with pace. Transition left and right is fantastic defending-wise, right? His acceleration being 99 on that shadow chemistry style is super noticeable. Defensive stat increases are noticeable. He has physical presence uh, because of the fact that he's super fast, so he uses that small body but decent stalking game to get into certain positions really nicely. The dribbling, you don't need to improve. In the CDM position, it's absolutely brilliant. A passing is there as well, especially with the four-star weak foot. It's really nice. And then again, he can shoot the ball given the opportunity. You know, he has 82 long shots with 88 shot power, but was able to hit that finesse for me, right? So, um, yeah, for, you know, for the content team and the content that they've been bringing, uh, that they've been bringing out, 192k for an untradeable, really sick CDM or center mid. He's, he's, he's pretty nice. I enjoyed using him. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I will catch you guys for tomorrow's video, whatever they release. Peace out dudes. Love you guys. Huge thank you on their support guys. You guys know how I am when it comes to the gameplay stuff. So I really appreciate that. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Peace out dudes.